What did Bridgecom send me? <laughs> Skybridge, baby. Okay, kids. Hey. It's a Skybridge. Normally don't do unboxings. This just came. We, uh, ah, got a book. Nice packaging here. Raspberry Pi type device. Car charger, house charger. A little uh, mini antenna, ethernet cable, and USB-C. Look you like, ah, it's an external battery. Very, very cool. So you can take this thing on the road. The nice folks over at Bridgecom sent me this to do a review. This is the Bridgecom Skybridge. It's a hotspot. It's a Pi Star based hotspot. When I heard this Skybridge did multi modes and did it what they said very well, I was curious. I wanted to see this thing for myself and it would be really, really nice to be able to have one hotspot here in Studio A that I can just grab a radio and pick it up and use it. And I think something like that would be really, really fun for you too. Looking at this thing, hey, standard Pi Star configuration on one side, USB-C plus two HDMI output ports. And I believe that is an audio output port that'd be an audio in. Other side of this thing, standard USB-A connections and one ethernet connection over here. On the top of it, look in there and it's an SMA connector. What goes in the SMA connector? an antenna. We're going to plug it in. There you go. It's initializing. Now I've already set this one up. So we do have somebody talking right now. W-A-1-Y-K-B. And we can actually listen to him on the 878. It doesn't matter what radio you have. This is transmitting to both of them at the same time. And if I wanted to jump in here to on DMR, I key that up and you'll notice it's keyed up on DMR down here at the bottom. Okay, 6GDA on uh, 3100. Anybody around for a very quick uh, demo? Real good, Sean. Thanks for coming back to the call. Actually doing a little DMR video right now and you're in it. So uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you for uh, helping me out here. I love my open spot for so many reasons, but one of the things that I can't do with the open spot is just grab a radio when it's on and transmit and have it go to the right mode, have it do what I want it to do. Now with the sky bridge on and with the other hand, and I could pick up my DMR radio, whether it is another Anytone radio. This thing, my friends, is my absolute workhorse. This goes where I don't take other radios. The beautiful thing about Bridgecom that I found out firsthand, when I first set up the Skybridge, I did it just like this and it worked fantastic on YSF. I couldn't, for the life of me, get my DMR radio, my 878, which was the only one that I had programmed at the time that I had programmed for that frequency. I could not get this 878 to transmit. It just didn't trigger the sky bridge. The long story short, Bridgecom got on the phone with me. They got on a uh, an app that they have and they were able to go into my computer and into my sky bridge here and they had me do some testing while we were right there online. Either the sky bridge is off or your radio is off. Why don't you do us a favor and pack them both up, send them to us, we'll test everything, we'll figure out what's going on. A couple of days later, uh, this all came back to me. In the meantime, I was super impressed with the way Bridgecom was able to kind of pretty much diagnose what was going on.